गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ माइक्रोवेव रडार इंजीनियरिंग द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के ई सी जीरो सेवन फोर एंड दिस इज वीडियो लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल फर्स्ट गिव अस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ मैजिक टी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट इन द टू डेज लेक्चर आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वॉट इज डायरेक्शन कपर दैट इज वन ऑफ द माइक्रोवेव डिवाइस सो application of magic tea as we know that the uh, app, magic tea we have already discussed what what was the what is the magic tea magic tea is the eh plane which is a combination of e and and h plane it means like this if i say Okay, so this one is the uh, H plane, and this is what magic T. So this one is the H H arm, and this one is E arm, and this one is port number two, port number one. That is, that are the port number one and port number two are the collinear arms. Clear. So uh, first application is the measurement of impedance. how it is measurement of impedance like see this one let's see if i say this is a standard load which is connected to port number 1 and this is unknown load which is connected to port number port number 2 and in the port number 3 we have connected port number 4 we have connected it is null detector and port number 3 it is what source that is port number 3 now see that if i am this is port number 3 which is act as a source if i am providing the input from this arm that is a charm the both the power is transmitted split into two parts that is gives to port number 1 and goes to port number 2 of equal magnitude clear yeah? that is of equal magnitude that means And same phase, it is A4 by root two and A4 by root two, which we have discussed in the magic tape. And no part, no output will be detected null detector. But if these loads are mismatch, if these loads are mismatch, and due to the mismatching, some wave will be reflected back. And here some wave also may be reflected back due to the mismatching of this reflected back. Now. reflection is that the input is provided to the both arms output will be observed at this arm and output at null detector will be equal to a4 reflection coefficient 1 minus my reflection coefficient from this arm you can observe uh, till this measurement uh, uh, of the null detector gives the about the gives the information about the unknown impedance clear so now how magic t is act as a duplexer see this magic t port number 1 port number 3 port number 1 2 and port number 3 4 this port number 4 is act as a antenna which is act as a duplexer which receives the signal and and transmit the signal do so you will see that port number 2 is connected as a transmitter some wave is if input is provided to this one from this port no output will be at this port means there will be in isolation between the transmitter receiver and <coughs> information goes to 
the antenna and the match terminal match termination now if the signal is receiving from this side if i am saying the signal is receiving antenna is receiving the signal it means the port 4 is act as a input that is a e arm the when it is e arm the output will goes to what to the receiver and to the transmitter clear <coughs> now see this is also to be what isolated clear now see how it is act as a use of uh, similarly it can be used magic t can be used to as a double feed power and similarly the magic t can be used as a mixer clear so now next one is the direction coupler so direction coupler is a four port device which is used to transmit the power into or split the power into two or one or two directions clear that is direction coupler has four ports which one is regarded as input and other one is regarded as a through port and another one some port is also known as the coupled port and some port is regarded as a isolated port clear so it consists of a primary waveguide and the secondary waveguide this one is the primary waveguide if i am saying input if i am giving input to this side if input is provided to this one so this one is act as a word primary waveguide and this one act as a word secondary waveguide clear if input is going to do this one is the primary and this one is this waveguide is what secondary waveguide clear so direction can coupler can also be realized in micro strip line using strip line and coaxial waveguide clear now see how it is worked as a working of an ideal direction coupler now see when working as a uh, ideal direction if input is provided to port number 1 so maximum power of this input power will will go to the port number 2 and some of the power which is coupled goes to port number 4 and no power for the ideal case no power will be reached at port number 3 that means port number 1 and port number 3 these are isolated port clear so a portion of the if a portion of power traveling from port number 1 to port number 2 is coupled to the port number 4 but not to the port number 3 clear a portion of power traveling from port number 2 to port number is coupled to port number 3 not to port number 4 it means if i say this is a direction coupler if input is provided to port number 2 so some of the power will reaches to this port number 1 and some of the power will be coupled to port number 3 and no power will be reaches at port number 4 that is therefore but not to port number 4 now if i say the input is provided to this one so some of the power will be reaches to port number 4 and coupled power reaches to port number 2 but no power will reaches to the port number 1 clear so <coughs> these port will always be isolated to each other and these two port will always be isolated to each other clear so now practically we say that if i say this one is a direction coupler So this one, if I say the port number input is provided port number two, that is if I said that is PI, and the maximum power of port number one reaches to port number two, that will be known as what PR, and some of the power which is coupled 
टू पोर्ट कपल टू पोर्ट नंबर थ्री पोर्ट नंबर फोर डेट इज नोन एज इफ आई से डेट इज नोन एज द पी कप पी सी और यू कैन से वट पी एफ क्लियर एंड नो पॉवर वुड बी रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टू विच विच इज टू पोर्ट नंबर फोर बट इफ आई से दिस डायरेक्शन कपल इज नॉन आइडियल then some of the power which is which is to port number 4 that is known as the what pb clear so reflected power at port number 3 so this is port number 4 this is port number 3 to so reflected power at port number 3 is pb forward coupled power at port number 4 forward coupled power at port number 4 received power at port number 2 and port number 1 clear so there are two important factors of direction coupler that is the coupling factor in the directivity and another factor is known as the isolation factor clear so what is the coupling coupling factor coupling factor is a measure of how much of the power incident power is being sampled while directivity is measure of how well the direction coupler distinguish the distinguish between the forward and reverse traveling waves clear so directivity is measure of what it distinguishes the how much power is traveling in the forward coupled direction with respect to the backward direction reverse traveling waves clear and coupling factor defines what how much power is coupled to forward coupled to port number 4 clear so the coupling factor if i say this one say so this is p i p r pf okay in some book it is known as pc and this is known as the pb so pi by pr pi by pf that defines the coupling factor that is 10 if i want to pi by pf is known as the coupling factor now if i want to calculate the coupling factor in db so that is 10 log of pi by pf clear so directivity similarly directivity is what it distinguishes the forward power to the reverse power forward power is what this direction pf reverse power is pb so pf by pb that defines the directivity clear so what is isolation isolation is what you know that these two ports are always isolated to each other and similarly these two ports are always isolated to each other so isolated means pi by pb that defines what isolation and insertion loss how much power if i am providing some input to this to this port how much power received at this port and which is power some power which is not received at pr that defines the insertion loss so insertion loss is known as what 10 log of pi by pr so now another identity which is derived from these two these three expressions that is isolation is equal to directivity plus coupling factor how it is now see this one if i say the coupling factor is plus directivity that is 10 log of 10 log of pi by pf plus me here this is 10 log of pf by pb now see this one this will be equal to what 10 log of pi by pf multiply me this can be equal to pf by pb so this pf it equal to what 10 log of pi by pb that will be equal to what isolation so similarly the identity which is derived from this expression it is isolation equal to directivity plus me coupling factor so ideal ideal coupler has infinite directivity and infinite 
isolation how why it is known why it is infinite directivity in infinite isolation you know that in the ideal case pb will always be what equal to 0 when pb is equal to 0 so you will see that the isolation comes out to be what infinite clear and similarly you, you will see that the directivity will be what will be what infinite clear <coughs> so directivity is defined as in terms of coupling factor for a 3 db direction coupler means c equal to 3d what is 3 db direction coupler 3 db direction coupler means it defines what 3 db direction coupler means if i say if i am providing if i am providing some input that is 72 milliwatt let's say example if i am providing 72 milliwatt to this one so 3 db coupler means these two power will be what get divided into two parts and of equal value it is 36 milliwatt will be here and 36 milliwatt will be here clear now if you see why it is known as 3 db direction coupler you will see that 10 log of 70, 720 milliwatt will be equal to what which is let's say if i say this is x db if i say this is 10 log of x dbm then it will be what it will be 10 log of 36 milliwatt that will also be equal to x db m minus me 3 db output will be that's why it is known as a 3 db direction coupler so 3 db direction coupler for 3 db c equal to what 3 db how it is c equal to through what 3 db you will see that 10 log of pi by pf as we know that the 10 log of pi by pf will be what this 72 divided by 36 that is 10 log of 2 and that will be equal to 10 log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 that will be equal to what 3 db that's why for a 3 db direction coupler the coupling factor is equal to 3 db clear so there are different types of direction coupler first one is two hole direction coupler four hole direction coupler reverse coupling direction coupler that is also known as a swing swinger coupler bath hole direction coupler that is na two hole direction coupler is mostly used how now see this one this is what first two hole direction coupler you will see that here two holes are there these are the four, this is four hole direction coupler clear and this one is what this one is reverse coupling direction coupler clear and this one is what bath hole direction coupler clear now two hole direction coupler in which you will see that the two connected waves have two holes present between them one waveguide is known as the primary waveguide and another one waveguide is known as the auxiliary waveguide which means this one if i say this one is what uh, primary waveguide this one is what secondary waveguide auxiliary waveguide clear and the further four hole direction coupler by increasing the number of coupling uh, coupling apertures means that by increasing the number of holes you will see that the coupling factor increases means the coupler increases and hence the directivity is also increase because of some when there is some reflection there is some reflection from this this will automatically opposite phase will be there and it will also get cancelled out the isolation get also improved and some power will be what will be in some phase and automatically coupling factor will also be increases clear so in this reverse coupling direction coupler you will see that the one this time the long side of the one is common with the short side wall of the other two you will see here that long side of the direction coupler is shorted to the what 
is shorted to the short side of the, the another uh, waveguide. Clear? So two two off center slots are cut between the waveguides. Similarly, the bath hole direction coupler is the one of the bath hole direction coupler in which consists of two parallel waveguides, one stacked on top of the top of the other, like this one. Clear? Now see two hole direction coupler. You will see here that the this one is what primary waveguide and this one is what secondary waveguide. You will see they here that if I am providing the input to port number one, so the input goes to this one, and some of the power will goes to this one, and some power will be reaches to this one. At this point, some power will be goes in this direction. Some power will be reflected back in this direction and when there is a another hole there so some power will goes forward and some forward will some goes will approaches to this direction so due to the this this wave and this wave will always be in same phase so overall phase will be what added clear but the wave the wave which is reflected back at this point the wave which is reflected they both will be of out of force and that's why they are cancelled out therefore pb will be equal to equal to what zero clear so the how is this possible because length of these two holes will be equal to l equal to 2n plus 1 into my lambda g by 4 this lambda g by 4 have a very important role for cancelling the these waves and for adding the these waves at the coupler side clear so dilution S matrix, as we noted, the it is a four port network. So S matrix is a square will be what square matrix. So when I say <coughs> these all if all ports are perfectly matched, that is S11, S22, S33, S44 equal to zero. For symmetric property, what S23? You know the S matrix is symmetric. S23 equal to S32, S13 equal to S31, S24 equal to S42, S34 equal to S43. Now you will know that the port 1 and port 3 is always isolated and port number 2 and port number 4 is always isolated. It means that what? When input is provided port number 1, output port number 3 equal to 0. Similarly, when input is provided port number 2, output at port number 2 will be 0. That is, these are all equal to 0. Therefore, S matrix comes out to be this one. Now, using the unitary property and zero property means s matrix multiplies me s conjugate will always equal to i on putting these values and multiply the you will get this equation by r1 c1 r2 c2 r3 c3 r4 c4 you will see the s12 ka whole square plus s14 ka whole square equal to 1 these two equation from these two equation first and second you will observe that S14, S12 is common, S14 equal to S23. And from these two equations, you will see that S34 and S34 both are common. It means S23 and S14 are equal. Clear? S23 and S14 are equal. Clear? And similarly, from these two equations, you will see that S23 and S23 are equal to S12 and S34 are equal. Okay. Now, let assume that if I say S12 and S34 equal to P, if the input is S is positive and real, okay, so P into my S conjugate to S23 plus S23 will be equal to 0 from 5th and 6th equation, from this equation and from this equation. If I say this one is equal to P S12 and what S34 will be equal to S12 equal to S3 equal to P. You will see that P equal to this one and P cannot be 0 because P is positive in real. Therefore, S23 plus S23 equal to 0. That means S23 and S23, if I say S23 equal to imaginary part, so S conjugate 23 will be equal to minus jq on putting this value you will get overall s matrix will become this one clear the book i have referred for preparing the slide set is 
माइक्रो डिवाइस एंड सर्किट्स बाय एस एम लियो एस एम लियाओ थैंक यू